good morning guys. We are about to go to Samantha's preschool. Um, not presentation. It's a uh, good morning guys. So today we are going to Samantha's orientation. <laughs> that was my presentation again. <laughs> orientation. We're going to an orientation for uh, at Samantha's school. So we are hurrying because we are about eight minutes to the start of it. It starts at 9 o'clock and now it's 8.52 so we are a little bit late. Hopefully there's no traffic since it's Saturday anyway. So yeah. Unless there's a red car. Probably going to the presentation too. Yeah, I think it's Brian's mom. <laughs> it's like, it's a Toyota so it probably is. Yeah. So I should have... Like, well, our kids go to the same school, so yes. <laughs> This is probably what sixth, seventh time. <laughs> no, we could try to, to pick up some, uh, some Amanda's uniform, but so not that. They said they're gonna drop it off at the <clears throat> the gate later. And yeah, we keep on coming back, and they're so not done. I don't know. And then they said uh, Sophia's uniform is so big, and then they're like, oh, just bring it here. We'll repair. I'm like, nah, I'll, I'll take it to the mall. You it's know, it's it's not. Probably it's not their fault. It could be just like you know, like a um, just they they just have so too much load, you know. They, and they're doing it. They're they're doing what they could. I think it's just a, it sucks. And they probably don't have a More good kind than I am. management. Well, because I'm thinking that if they took on too much work, that's their problem. Yeah, they should have done that. How much they can get done. Mm -hmm. A lot of well, a lot of students are starting their class this week. We started last week, uh, uh, two weeks ago. So I guess they should really be, you know, they should not just keep accepting um, job and oh, shout. okay, if they know that they cannot do it. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I guess lower your expectations. If you're gonna get uniform, um, <laughs> if you get custom made, just for lower your, your expectations yeah. some more. Mm -hmm. I mean, seven times is lower your expectation. Maybe around fifteen times. Maybe <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it will probably be all the way to the ground soon. Uh, just, just this Keep is how digging. it is in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, the, that lady she kept on saying, "Oh, right now." Already like sewing it. Yesterday she said, "Oh, we're sewing it already," and today we're sewing it already. Like I don't know how, many, but yeah, oh, relax. It's okay. That's okay. I just I'm like okay, whatever. So, huh, what do you think the chances are that they will actually drop it off at the zero? At, yeah, that's zero I chance. I ha I'm, per I'm pretty sure they're gonna like message me like, "It's ready. <clears throat> Come back." Like you know. It's like I'm um, sorry, ma'am. We're still sewing it. Yeah. They, they we, we, yeah, I don't know, it's just, just how it is in the Philippines, well, actually, it's not, not entirely true, I've had better tailors before, she said, you know, the one that we, we got for Sophia, so next year, we're gonna go back to her, because we said, two weeks, and she told me, sure, yeah, come back in two weeks, and we came back, two weeks, I, I messaged her, hey, is it ready? And she's like, yeah, it's ready. Uh, I just need to do a few adjustments. Give me one more day. And then the next day we came and then, you know, it was there. It's ready. And yeah, they fit. Yeah. After we shop, mommy, after we shop, we, better can, quality we go to mm -hmm. correctly. Yeah. <laughs> mommy, can yeah. take a nap? So, okay, take a nap. Yeah, so we know they have a dog. You know, it can be done better. Yeah. There are other tailors, so this one just they just take a lot of uh, a lot of work, so that's why probably it's taking forever. Anyway, yeah, I went to Samantha's orientation today, and they had a um, 
election of officers and I elected myself <laughs> because we had to go so bad for some emergency reasons earlier <laughs> personal reasons so we had to leave I'm like no one is volunteering I'm like come on guys let's go <laughs> Samantha's like mommy I'm hungry mommy wanna go to daddy mommy <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah so okay that was it it was fun <clears throat> and the way they're doing it in school so it's cold now. So they first they would greet and then they have um, step time, they have story time, storytelling, and also you know snack time. They would carry like trays back to their teacher, the placemat, and then they also have activities that they have to handle like glass items actually carry, like move one glass like a. a cup from one one side of the room to the other side of the room which we should probably start practicing oh Samantha and Sophia already know how to, to use glass stuff uh -oh. glass place glass cup it's, oh, it's not that bad here because usually there are a bunch of people walking on this side yeah. oh it's Saturday okay so now we're going to the mall because we have a lot of we have a long list of things we need to buy for the kids. A new scooter because my scooter's too tiny for me. Uh, well, for the kids, cool. <laughs> and also a new scooter because the scooter's too tiny for me. Yeah, so Pia wants a new yeah. scooter for us an early this birthday present. That's fine. Because my birthday's Yeah, this is the motorcycle park right there. You see? From this side all the way to the end over there. They're all motorcycles. Little scooters. Moped, right? Mopeds. Yeah. yeah. There might be more on other levels. I yeah, probably. No, this. I think this is the only area oh, where they are allowed to park. Yeah. So that's why they're all in here. That's pretty good. I'm out. <laughs> through the road. Everywhere. We asked for your shoes already. Sophia said Samantha's probably gonna grow up into a vlogger because she is a gamer. Mm. I'm like, well, if you can bring in millions for us, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are home from uh, SM Cebu City. We didn't really stay until later because we still have a lot of things we need to get done tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Samantha's ballet class mm. and then grocery shopping and we have to go get Samantha's uniform tailored and yeah the people at the tailoring place earlier said that they're gonna drop off Samantha's uniform and Nick asked me how many percent that's that they're gonna be likely dropping off the uniform I said zero and yep zero they didn't drop it off at all so we still have Samantha's uniform and uh, yeah and then Sophia's uniform they made it too big so okay I'm gonna try to balance my um my camera hang on I'll show you the things that we bought for Sophia uh it's gonna be for her Buena Wika it's a Filipiniana outfit and also for Sammy I'll show you what it looks like it's from this place in inside SM Cebu City. It's called Cultura. So this is like a traditional Filipino uh, outfit. Like back in the days, Filipinos used to wear this kind of outfits you know, for daily life. But this one is more like the fancier version. But yeah, this is called the uh, Filipiniana. Traje. No, not no, traje. No. This is the, uh, the Filipiniana top. Yeah. It's so nice. Look at all this, you know. Really nice design right here. Hopefully she doesn't get it stained and just keep it as nice and neat like this because Samantha could use this um, sometime. 
in the future as well. One thousand, uh, two thousand one hundred ninety nine is the price for this. It's a set. So it's really nice. Um, she has to wear this every Wednesday for a month, and I ordered her another one. Actually, I ordered that one first, but I realized it's not going to be arriving until Wednesday, and they have to wear it on Wednesday. Uh, this one goes around the shoulder, and then this is the back of it. So cute, right? And then here's the clip for the, the hair. Either you put it on here or put it on her hair. I think I'll just keep it there to kind of close it like that. Keep it together because they had it that way, right? It's just so cute. I love it. Um, the skirt. It's just a pink chiffon material skirt and it's um, garterized so it will fit like, you know, it's so nice. And they had a lot of really um, more affordable ones but Sophia, she chose this one because her favorite color is pink. <laughs> so yeah, I want this one and then she really liked the top when she saw it so it's really nice. 3,000, uh, 2,199 pesos. Really cute. And she's gonna wear it on Wednesday. And I'll put it back so it won't, you know, get stained whatsoever. Also bought um, the one for Samantha that she needs to, to wear on Wednesday. Oh, not Wednesday. On the end of this month. It's their culminating activity, which means they have program and People are going to be dancing and things like that. And also, they're going to be wearing um, outfit. For them, it's... Uh, so here in the Philippines, we have Luzon besides the Mineno. And so Luzon, the, more like the costumes are more like this. And then Visayas is more... Kind of, and actually, this is more like Visayas probably. Um, and then uh, Luzon is more like like the igorot and like with the bahag and all that like Baguio CD out outfits and then I'll probably like snap some pictures so you guys know what I'm talking about and then Mindanao is more like the Muslims so the they have their own kind of outfit and attire as well and that's the one that got assigned to Samantha so. Here it is. Um, okay. Wow, actually really expensive. This leotard right here is what she's going to be wearing. And she's going to wear um, tights, black tights with it. And then this one will be crossing her. Um, she will wear this across her. Um, what do you call that? Across her chest. I just, I just had a realization that this might not be the right one. Because this remind me of kind of like the, the ipugaos or igorot so this might not be the right one i'm not sure um, yeah but we'll see um i might also look it up on shopee shopee is like the online store here in the US, uh, in the philippines where you can find a lot of things so i might i might still look it up because they had a um, picture that they let us this okay so this is how Samantha's costume is supposed to look like okay she has black leotard short sleeves or long sleeves and then this thing right here and then just a bunch of like beads bead necklace and then um, I don't know about the head so I'm not sure but I guess it's similar kind of similar right I think it should be fine. I think this should be fine. Yeah. So yeah, that's all the sports Samantha. So it's not that complicated for Sammy. So we have that figure out. Just need to buy yellow pair of sandals for her because that's also something that they asked for her to wear. Yeah. That's that. And then we just found a few. Th we just bought a few things for their school, like. Um, new water bottles because the ones they have leaks and uh, we're gonna buy some more um, I call that 
Lunchbox. Oh, Sophia is starting Monday. She's not going to be getting off until 3.25. So we have to give her food for snacks and lunch. So I have to pack lunch for her with, you know, veggies and meat and rice. So I have to find her really nice lunch box that could actually, you know, keep her food safe and edible. Let me show you that the rest of the things that we got. Let me see. Here are all the things that we got today. I need this um, knife holder. I had been wanting to get one, but every time we go to the mall, I always like fail to get one. Let me, all right, let me quickly show you guys what we got. Uh, the other things that we got today. So I got this knife uh, holder, knife block for 319 pesos right here from the SM. Sophia got a new water bottle. This one is 499 pesos. A new tumbler. This is the brand. Here's what she got. And then here's Samantha's because the one she got leaks. So we got her a new one, which is kind of cute. For 599 pesos. Looks like this. Easy to open for her with a straw. Um, she needs Play Doh for her art portfolio art supplies so this one uh, 59 pesos each she needs four colors i got a blue orange yellow and purple or cutlery holder for the drawer with the cutleries and then we got this um, box for some sps um school how are they called those stuff that she needs. grooming kit yeah this is to be his grooming kit so she gotta have extra clothes in here and everything else and then i'm gonna have to label this so her teacher knows so i got this because she needs it for school it says the clear yellow plastic and um envelope not envelope folder this is the only one i found so this is what we got i just need to put the fastener on it and then be good clothes for Sammy and Sophia to wear to school because their uniform we still have problems with their uniform so yeah I'm not gonna use this tailor anymore I had so much problems so anyway got Sophia three pack of this t-shirt that you can wear to school really cute strawberry uh, inspired one this is for six to eight or six to seven in US so cute uh, how much it's from H&M by the way 799 so that's her fault H&M. I only buy clothes for them at H&M though. Because they last longer. And they're nice too. Okay, for Sammy, we got her this dress. This is her 3, 4, 2. So, 3 items for the price of 2. So, basically, 1 is free. So, we got her this dress. Really nice sundress. And this one she can wear to school. Long sleeve. I like giving her long sleeves to school because or dressing her up in long sleeves because of the AC. And then this one right here, so cute. Long sleeves. The Barbie. She wants the Barbie t-shirt. So yeah. So it's $3.99 pesos. Oh, last one that we got is the Wally Stumble. Here. This is our Wally Stumble in the Philippines. The broom in the Philippines. So this one was kind of pricey actually. $3.99. But let's see how it is compared to the other uh, brooms that I've gotten before. Hey okay, guys, we have this problem in the U in the Philippines right now. So this connector right here, we can never find the right one for our um, faucet or our spigot. Um, we found one towards the beginning, but we could never find it again. So we only have one that's working properly right now. So we keep on buying and thinking this is the right one, but then we come home, it's the wrong one. So Nick is getting irritated. <laughs> He's right now outside watering the plant. Then let me show you guys. It's right there. Hi. Watering the plants. Is it relaxing? It is relaxing. Right? It's therapeutic. Yes. I need, I need that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot the number again. Oh, there's a lizard up there on the wall. There's a lizard? Or a gecko. A gecko? Oh, right there. Where is it? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's hiding. I don't know where it went now. Yes, I do. Uh -oh. 
is hiding behind the lights. That's right there. I can see its tail. Right there. Um, we were all so tired because we woke up early and so we didn't really stay that long. And tomorrow we're gonna take Samantha to her ballet class and then we're gonna go to the tailor to... This is a different tailor. She was the one that we used before. I wish I'd just use her again. Um, she's so much better. She told me to come back in two weeks and then she she's gonna get it done and she got it done. So now we're gonna have Sophia's uniform altered and I might just stop by um, Samantha and Sophia's school to buy more fabric and then just have her uh, saw Samantha's uniform. So that's it. That's all for the vlog today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.